Faye has come to the plate a couple of times, and now he bursts in like a basket of kittens with his energy. He sends Rendell scrambling through the mountain, and now under the ridge to the front line. The gap quickly closing as McVay goes to the floor. He's got nine seconds left to catch Rendell, who tiptoes along the back wall and takes a trip. A hurdle through the mountain, and what a tag by McVay! It didn't seem possible, and yet he did it. And it'll come down to this for Olo. It's got to be an evasion here for McCarty if they want to move on to play on Friday. He goes to the mountain, a leaping try by Adrian going over the top. McCarty reverses course, acrobatic for the mountain, but a fateful turn as he went toward the ridge. And that ends it. No cap is the winner. Santos Tirones. Tumbling like a deer across the highway as he works in pursuit of Sliger. They pause at the ridge, but these teams know each other well. They can almost expect that. Vaulting among the treetops like they're at the Olympics in Tokyo, back under the mountain. Five seconds left. Santos has to launch. He tries to cut down space across the quad and gets the tag as time expires. Athletes ready! Jared Ludi goes low. Looking for Soderman, a sprint out of the back of the tilted cube and across the front line toward the ridge. He waits there as Ludi goes high. Soderman reverses course. Oh, a pirouette on top of the ridge. Soderman climbs the mountain, leaps into the tilted cube, turns back again. Just three seconds to go. Ludi's got to make a move, and he runs out of time. Soderman with his fourth evasion in just two matches. Wow, one of the few athletes that's quick enough to make that dodge around the floating bay, right where the tilt the lazy boy is, making that open area. Remember, it's a shortened, truncated roster for the free runners. They came in with six, now two injuries. They're down to four, an increased burden for every single chaser and evader. Olaf hoping to free Zaki. A climb up the mountain, that can slow you down, not for Zaki. Olaf to the tilted cube, now they're on opposite sides. A trip up the sisters, five seconds remain. What does Zaki have left in the tank? A sprint to the ridge, and he's tagged at the buzzer! Nearly got the first point, but Olaf says no! Omar Zaki doing a great job keeping eyes on Olaf, but just couldn't get that off enough. Half a second, literally .5 seconds remaining on the clock, and he would have had the evasion. The world record holder for consecutive evasions. His team is down 3-0. Jason Bergeron chasing him along the front line. Soderman with great speed, great agility at the tilted cube. Come and get me over the sisters again. Seven seconds to go. Does he have enough to get the Hollywood free runners on the board? It's a trip up at the ridge, up to the mountain. Soderman soaring and scoring. 3-1. Wow, wow. Athletes ready. Higgins takes the opening through the tilted cube as Adrian runs around the outside. Front line, oh, and a con over the ridge to the top of the mountain. Always a dangerous decision. The sisters, space is closed at the Lazy Boy. A swipe, there's nothing there. Three seconds left. It's got to be now for Higgins through the tilted cube, and he doesn't get it. Point, no cap. Here we go for number four. DeAndre Jones tries his hand to bring down the Hollywood stuntman. Soderman just so effortlessly looking as he goes toward the ridge, back up over the mountain, welcoming the tag. Says, come and get me, but can you? And a brilliant lead to the corner that would have taken him out of bounds. Pays off for Jones and wipes away Soderman after three evasions.